Hello, I'm sure you know the famous Yoda quote, do or do not, there is no try. Just recently I've started to observe how many people use the word try. I will try to get this to you on time. I'm ready to try again if you give me another chance. Why don't you try to do better next time? Did you know that the word try is a weak word? Words like try, but, might, like to are words which don't give a definite answer. It is a nice way of staying non-committed to the task or plan at hand and I am certain that most people are simply not aware how language can weaken the outcome. What many managers often don't understand is that if a person accepts to do something, it doesn't mean the person is committed to do it. If you listen to the words, you will notice how many people use language that provides them with the chance of not following through. Here's one of my personal examples. I'm training for a marathon right now. I don't say I will try to train for a marathon. I have a clear goal and I have a workout plan. However, what's even more important is the story I tell myself. If I would say I might or I will try, there is no commitment to the marathon training. Can you hear the difference? I encourage you to become aware of these language crutches because when you become aware, you will notice it more often and with that it will give you the opportunity to improve the results you receive. Please know that awareness is the first step in the change process. Do or do not, there is no try. This was my thought for today and I will see you next week again. Until then, be happy, be healthy and be at your best.